Welcome to the Story of Liberty. Today is April 18th, and we remember the life of William Bradford. He passed on this day. He was born in 1590 in Austerfield, England, and his parents died when he was very young. His grandparents and then his uncle and aunt took care of him. He learned farming, and as a young boy, he became ill and spent quite a bit of time in bed between his seventh and eleventh year. Eventually he met the people known as the Separatists and became part of their worship services, the Separatist Church. At the age of 14 his family disowned him because of that and he was taken in by William Brewster in Scrooby, England, not far from his home. As a teenager, he joined this church and met at the Scrooby Manor in the home of William Brewster. They eventually were betrayed and put in jail in Boston, England for attempting to escape England and the persecution en route to Holland. At the age of 19, he suffered nearly shipwreck on the voyage to Holland. And we know, as history shows to us, he spent 12 years with the pilgrims in Leiden, Holland, married Dorothy and uh, became a pillar in the church under the leadership of John Robinson. He is the one that came to the New World on the Mayflower at the age of 30 and he found himself unanimously elected the governor of the Plymouth Plantation. He had a career that was uninterrupted until his 67th year. Bradford was a calm and courageous leader, and he was given full control of the ownership of the colony through the Pierce Patent in 1621, but he promptly turned the power back to the people under the provision of the Mayflower Compact of 1620. He was a compassionate man, and he took in orphans, and. He also initiated and instituted the free enterprise system that we know in America. He cultivated this whole concept by giving each family a parcel of land that they could work on and cultivate with their own hands and then bear the fruits, the rewards of it. He was a scholar. He studied Hebrew by candlelight and he mastered Latin, Dutch, French, and the Greek of the New Testament. He came proficient in antiquity and philosophy and theology. He demonstrated that throughout his life, one could teach himself with no formal education. He said this, he said with remarkable discernment, as one small candle may light a thousand, so the light kindled here shall be shown unto many. That was William Bradford the governor of Plymouth Plantation who wrote of Plymouth Plantation and it gives us the details of the life of the pilgrims. It's a great classical style book. Consider the first American classic written on these shores. Get a copy of uh, Bradford's book of Plymouth Plantation. <laughs>